Good afternoon, Good Shepherd. It is Tuesday, March 1st. This is the Midweek Moment Advanced Edition. Uh, in case some of you are thinking of giving up the internet for Lent, I wanted to make sure I got in here ahead of time. Now, I wanted to make sure that we got some news out um, before tomorrow, and uh, that made the most sense to try and do it this afternoon. And there will be more coming out later in the week as well. Um, but to the news, because there's quite a bit. If you were not in attendance um, in church on Sunday, or uh, didn't uh, weren't, weren't there on the uh, early morning uh, Zoom service, uh, you've missed the news that starting tomorrow, Ash Wednesday, um, we will be mask optional going forward. Uh, masks will not be required. Uh, they will be optional, of course, if, if uh, they're necessary for you, please wear them. Um, and we will no longer be uh, having everyone sign in uh, as we have in the past um, for a while. So big, big changes, um, all coinciding with Lent, maybe make it a little less dreary. Um, not that Lent is dreary, and I'll get to that in a little while. Um, but uh, also, uh, that means that we will uh, be returning to coffee hours um, and that opportunity to engage in fellowship um, after the services. Um, so no, fellow, no coffee hours tomorrow, but coffee hours on Sunday, tomorrow being uh, Ash Wednesday. And as um, I've said before, and has gone out in uh, e-news and special emails, we will have services at 7 a.m., noon, and 7 p.m. Um, the 7 a.m. service will be in the chapel, and we will live stream that. Um, it, will not, um, it will not be Zoomed, it'll just go basically directly to Facebook, um, or even if I do Zoom it, there won't be any interaction, uh, and it will just it will just be one shot. Uh, so that will be available, um, and because it will be uh, sent to YouTube, you could watch it a little later in the morning um, on our channel, on our YouTube channel. Um, the noon service and the 7 p.m. service will be uh, in the sanctuary. Both will have music. The 7 p.m. service will have choir. So all of that. Is, is tomorrow um, to begin our Lenten observance. Um, with uh, Lent beginning, that means that um, starting, uh, that today's uh, uh, installment of the Good Book Club um, was the last, we will not be doing that. We encourage you to um, take advantage of the Lenten resources on, on our webpage, and we'll send out some more information about that uh, as well. Um, the Good Book Club will be reading through, it's, it's available, the, the schedule is there if you downloaded the schedule. The schedule for the Good Book Club runs through Easter because uh, the book of Exodus was just too long to fit into, into Lent, but uh, I will not be doing daily um, uh, remarks on, uh, on the readings in, in the Good Book Club. Again, encourage you to take advantage of, of the many Lenten resources out there, uh, downloadable, uh, meditation guides or getting something sent to you every day, either uh, by email or on Facebook. So um, we've got some links for that. With regard to other uh, things going on in Lent, of course, the uh, Faith Forum will begin this coming Sunday, and it will be um, discussion, a reading and discussion of this book, Learning to Pray, by Father James Martin, a uh, Jesuit priest. Um, it's wonderful. Um, I've gotten into it a bit, and he's already uh, whetted my appetite for, for more. Uh, in the e-news, um, we'll enclose a link so that you can download the schedule of readings. We're going to read the whole book, um, and it's about 60 pages per week, more or less, uh, but it reads real fast. You'd probably knock out the 60 pages in an hour if you want <laughs> plow through it. Um, but you'll see in advance, uh, I'll, I'll post all of the questions. Um, if you've got the paperback version, the questions are in the back. But if you're listening it, to it online or you're uh, reading it via Kindle, I don't know if you'll have all of those questions, which is why I wanted to make them available to you um, in print format. If you're here on Sunday, we'll have some, uh, some copies of that uh, that you can just take with you. Um, I still do have a few books available. Uh, we ran out, so I ordered some more. They arrived this morning before I left home, right after I left home. So if you want a book, uh, we've got a few more available, and I'll have them here at the church tomorrow, um, and then again through Sunday. 
One of the other things that you've heard about, uh, both in terms of me talking about it, some in the uh, E! News, if you were here on Sunday, um, you heard uh, Deacon Nadine talk about Called to Transformation, um, a program based on asset-based community development, something to really identify what we bring to ministry, things that we may overlook, the things in our neighborhood, things in our building, things in ourselves, things in our community. What do we overlook? that um, are assets that we can use to um, engage in ministry in amongst ourselves, but, but in, the, in the broader community. We had our vestry retreat uh, this last week, and uh, Nadine presented uh, the, uh, the ABCD to the vestry. We had a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So that program will be on Wednesday nights, starting next Wednesday, not, not tomorrow night, but next Wednesday. Um, and we'll go from 6 to 7.30. It will have it will have begin with a with a simple meal, and then uh, you know, all of this will take place in the parish hall, and then we'll continue on from there. We're still tinkering with whether or not we'll be able to offer it as as a, uh, a hybrid model or if there's going to be an online version. Um, given the nature of the program and given the limitations that we have with regard to uh, technology. Um, and where things can be, we're, we're a little concerned about how we might do that, but we're still in conversations and it's not a done deal. We'll let you know what, what's gonna happen. Uh, as you know, um, we've announced this a couple of times, um, Cindy McLean, uh, who has been our nursery caregiver for some years, uh, last Sunday was her last Sunday. She had announced this to us and we've put notices in the e-news um, and I've mentioned it um, here that uh, we don't have a nursery caregiver right now. So that uh, right at the point when we can come back together, we don't have anybody to really take care of the kids. So if you know somebody or if you are willing to volunteer for a short while until we find somebody, uh, let me know because we, we certainly do want to um, have those nursery kiddos uh, taken care of letting the parents worship in the way that's appropriate for them um, without worrying so much about the kids. I don't worry about the kids. I've been there. <laughs> I know how nervous it makes you if the kids are in with you. So um, if you, if you, if you, like I say, if you know somebody or if you're interested, um, let me know. Likewise, um, Alberto Silva, who was doing the, the camera work in the, in the chapel at the 745 service, um, for scheduling reasons has had to step back from that. And so if you're interested in uh, running the camera in, in the chapel on Sunday mornings at 745, it's called using a remote. I think you can do that. If you're interested in doing that, please, please let me know. Um, it makes it easier for me. It makes it easier for everyone else. It makes it easier for the people at home. And um, certainly as we move forward, uh, to have somebody else be able to, to do that or somebody else's, uh, that would be great. Um, so if, you, if you're interested in that, again, please let me know. Last reminder is that tomorrow evening is uh, Compline. Um, it will follow after, uh, after the um, evening uh, Ash Wednesday service. So you go to one of the early Ash Wednesday service and still end the days with Compline. It will be there online at 8.45. The announcements will go out and the links will go out tomorrow. They're the same ones they've always been, but uh, please join in on Compline. And I'd like to end today um, with a prayer for Lent um, as we enter into it tomorrow. This is a longer prayer uh, written by uh, an Anglican priest, a British uh, Anglican priest uh, from the mid 20th century by the name of Eric Milner White, and I'm going to use the language in which it was written, which means traditional English. So uh, pardon the these and thous, um, but um, I, I, I think it's, it's a wonderful prayer uh, for consideration as we move into Lent. Let us pray. Lord, bless to us this Lent. Lord, let us fast most truly and profitably by feeding in prayer on thy spirit. Reveal us to ourselves in the light of thy holiness. Suffer us never to think that we have knowledge enough to need no teaching, wisdom enough to need no correction, talents enough to need no grace, goodness enough to need no progress, humility 
enough to need no repentance, devotion enough to need no quickening, strength sufficient without thy spirit, lest standing still we fall back forevermore. Show us the desires that should be disciplined and sloths to be slain. Show us the omissions to be made up and the habits to be mended. And behind these, weaken, humble, and annihilate in us self-will, self-righteousness, self-satisfaction, self-sufficiency, self-assertion, vainglory. May our whole effort be to return to thee. O we'll make it serious and sincere, persevering and fruitful in result, by the help of thy Holy Spirit and to thy glory our Lord and our God. Amen.